Hey guys, welcome back to Toolbox Tuesday. This is the second month of the new series of tool reviews, gear reviews, accessory reviews, preparedness related items, whatever it happens to be. Items that make my life a little bit better, items that I would recommend, and items that have either made me money or saved me money as a solution in my handyman business. So, have you guys ever watched YouTubers? Obviously, you're watching me right now, but I remember when I used to watch YouTubers and I'm like, man, some of those big high-end review guys, they got all these gadgets that must cost thousands of dollars to do these reviews. And the very first one I'd ever looked at was a kilowatt meter. And I thought, man, those these things must be absolutely expensive. And I was wrong. <laughs> All right, guys, real quick before we dive into the review, you probably know this, but if you go by toolmantim.shop, you will see a listing of my today's tools that I have recommended that I've done write-ups on. You'll see a list of all of the tool time gear reviews and the toolbox Tuesday items so you can check them out, get a little more information, find out what solutions that I use. And you can go to Amazon from there, check them out, and if you like them and you buy something, I get a small commission. So thank you for that, guys, and that helps support the content that I put out. So let's dive right in. Like I said, for a long time, you guys know I'm into preparedness, and I always wanted to have, or at least I remember experts talking about getting a kilowatt meter, or I guess kilowatts a brand like Q-Tip or Kleenex or whatever, but I wanted one of these little puppies. And before I was into doing reviews, just when I started my YouTube channel, just doing my, you know, how to build a handyman business with no money type series. So this was really not related to my channel or my content at all, but I wanted to have one of these so that I could know basically how much power something actually used so that I wouldn't top out or run out my generator, you know, because that's very important. You need to know in an emergency what you can run, what you can't run, and then you can tweak things so that you can be yet just a little more prepared. And this little gadget here surprised me. I fit, honestly, I never looked them up before, but I kind of figured a kilowatt meter, a watt meter, whatever would be like a specialty tool that would be like a hundred bucks but you know what <laughs> I checked this morning this is sixteen dollars and something American so it's usually under twenty dollars American and it's under thirty dollars Canadian now I don't ever make any guarantees on prices things go up or down but if you look on the history of these they stay under the twenty dollar range now they rebrand them all the time I bought this one a year ago and it's called I don't even know if I can pronounce that Kin Kinkria or something like that Right now, I think it's been rebranded as the Power Max, but basically what you're looking for is the one that doesn't have a backlight and has the blue buttons along the front. I'm sure there's 10 different ones that all look the same, that probably all come out of the same factory in China, but they do what they do, and they do it well. This guy's good. I gotta look at the review there. 4.3 stars out of five on Amazon. <laughs> and you know what? I, I love, I, I always, Almost always when I do reviews, I go back and I read people's ratings and reviews on Amazon to see if there's an ongoing problem that maybe I missed. And sometimes you look at these reviews and you're like, really? So everybody's biggest complaint with this little beast is that it only goes to two decimal places when calculating cost. My first thought is, don't you know how to do multiplication? But anyway, I'm trying not to be mean. But what this thing does, so you plug it in. Of course, it's got a regular 110 outlet. It'll run, it, you can test anything that'll go through a 15 amp service. It's good for up to 1800 watts. So that's anything you can plug into a regular household outlet, not 220, not 20 amp, whatever. But anything that's 15 amps, 1800 watts, this little beast will do. And really, I mean, yeah, it has a cost button on there. I have no interest in using that. But what I bought it for was it shows you the running watts, and the peak watts, and it keeps track of them in here while you're using them. And that's what I really like, because, you know, sometimes you can plug in a freezer or fridge and it's not running right now, or it's running just a little bit, or it's, you know, it hasn't kicked on, but what you really want to know is, what is that wattage when it kicks in? Because it always seems to, you know, be one and a half to two times as much, and you want to know. When I did my review on my uh, four-pack, uh, instant, not instant, but uh, rapid charger from DeWalt, I wanted to know what the absolute peak wattage was because I want to be able to run that rapid charger in my truck on an 800 watt inverter with four 
of the biggest batteries I have on it. And I ran it and that thing peaked out at 600 watts. And running watts was down around 400. So I should have no problem running it on an 800 watt inverter. So yeah, that, so to me, the, the two complaints that most people have are no backlight. And yes, it is a little bit dark to read, but for $16 American, how can you go wrong? Uh, turn your flashlight on your phone or just bend down and look at it. But any of the ones with backlight tend to be a little more money. If you guys find one that you like, let me know. But this has been, I don't want to say, I love using those stupid terms like game changer, but I just love this thing. It allows me to know how much power I'm using, what my peak wattage on certain items are, and that's really all I wanted it for. And like I said, the other issue that some people had was that they couldn't calculate properly the cost of electricity because on your bill it goes to like four or five decimal places and I thought well you know what just allow it to run figure out the total amount of power because that's what it says in here it keeps a, uh, a running total for you figure out how much it is uh, how much it's used for electricity and then just multiply it put it into an Excel spreadsheet whatever so sometimes complaints are unwarranted and of course the occasional dud people get but this thing's been good I throw it in my uh, I don't know what you emergency power drawer so it gets beat around quite a bit but I, every time i use it it's worked well i've had it for just over a year now and it hasn't let me down so like i said if you guys are looking for little gadgets that you see in <laughs> youtuber review videos that will help you function in a preparedness setting or just help you save money and save energy as well this is the guy so check him out he's on amazon I'm sure there are in other places, but like I said, just look for the inexpensive one with the blue buttons and no backlight, and you will not be let down. So like I said, guys, run by Toolman Tim. Actually, I already said toolmantim.shop, but run by toolmantim.co to find out everything there is to know about what I do, my content, my social media links, so you can follow me there. And if you guys have used one of these, or, oh, my voice cracked. <laughs> if you guys have used one of these, and you want to let me know what you think, or if you have a brand that you like as well, let me know. Anyway, guys, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.